The story you're about to listen to is about a man named Sean Charles Guir, age 27, responsible for the murder of two children and striking four others with his vehicle. <laughs> On December the 27th, around 2.50 p.m., a normal Monday as any other, Sean Charles Guir is no stranger to being a criminal. He was on probation for burglary and was driving with a suspended license. Sean Charles Guir was driving in a 2009 Honda Accord, driving southbound on Powerline Road. Upon passing West Oakland Park Boulevard and getting onto Northwest 9th Avenue, there was a Broward County Transit bus that was performing his normal duties and dropped off a passenger nearby. When the passenger got off, the bus driver closed his doors and began to merge back into the right lane, getting back to his normal road and route. Unfortunately, in South Florida, there's a pandemic of speed demons. Highways. Unfortunately, if you're a bus driver, you have to be very careful how you drive and merge back into the roadways as many don't want to wait for a bus and cut and merge to try to get to their destinations faster. A bus driver was getting back to the Northwest 9th Avenue Road on southbound. Upon him getting back to the road merging, Sean and his 2009 Honda decide he doesn't want to wait for the bus. His incompetence and impatience gets the best of him. He cuts the bus, almost clipping the front driver's side of the bus. Sean decides to fully merge and get around the bus, taking such a right sharp angle. He steers too much and barrels right through the six children, striking them, killing two and injuring four. The six unfortunate victims, the youngest being two years old and the oldest ten years old. It was a mix of male and female children. Sean doesn't even take a chance to get out of the car. He takes off in a hurry. Some good news is that a day later, Sean's car is recovered. Shortly after, Sean Greer was captured by BSO and taken to the Broward County Jail to face some serious charges. Physical evidence played a key role in determining that this was the vehicle involved. Right here you can see a part of the bumper still on the sidewalk that flew off in the heavy impact of the children. Damage on the front bumper to the core support to the hood and windshield described the vehicle to definitely be involved with this hit and run. Sean Greer on December the 28th was located by the Broward Sheriff's Office Viper Unit. Greer confessed to his involvement in the crash. The charges that Greer faces are two counts of leaving the scene of an accident involving death, two counts of leaving the scene of an accident involving serious bodily injury, two counts of leaving the scene of an accident involving injuries, tampering with evidence, four counts of driving without a license, causing death and slash or serious bodily injuries, and driving with a suspended license. The six children that were involved in this fatal vehicle hit and run were a direct result of incompetence and impatience, children full of many hopes and desires that their lives will forever be changed. This is a story that happened here in Wilton Manors involving six children involved in a deadly hit and run here in Broward County, South Florida.